welcome back and in today's video we are going to deal with empirical formula and molecular formula now what's the difference between these two let's say you have here no2 and when you multiply this by 2 you will have n2o4 this multiplied version is the molecular formula but this version up here the simplest ratio is what we call the empirical formula now let us see how we can solve questions related to these two determine the empirical and molecular formulas for a compound that gives the following masses upon analysis cl 71.65 gram c which is carbon 24.27 gram hydrogen 4.07 gram the molar mass of the molecular formula is known to be 98.96 gram per mole in this question we have to find the empirical formula and to the molecular formula let us start with the empirical formula we are given here chlorine as 71.65 and we are given here carbon as 24.27 grams and we are also given hydrogen as 4.07 grams the first step to finding the empirical formula is you change this into number of moles now this here is the mass and we know that the number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass and the molar mass can be found in the periodic table let us start with chlorine now when we start with chlorine it means that to get the number of moles we'll take the mass which is 71.65 and we will divide it by the molar mass which is from the periodic table as 34.45 gram per mole when you divide this you'll get approximately 2 mole now we'll do the same thing for the rest we'll take the mass of carbon divided by the molar mass we'll also take the mass of hydrogen and divide it by the molar mass now when you divide this here you will get approximately 2 mole and here we will get approximately 4 mole now step number one is done let us go to step number two for step number two you will divide these numbers of mole by the least number of moles which we are given you can see the least number of moles is two so divide all of these by two now when you divide this by two you will get chlorine or cl as one and you will get c as one and you will get also H, which is hydrogen, as 2 mole. Now let us write the empirical formula. The empirical formula will be, we have here C, and we have H, and we have Cl. So we have 1 of C, so we will not write anything here. And we have 2 of H, so we write this here, H2. And we have how many Cl? We have 1. So this here is your empirical formula. Now let us make some space here and let us find the molecular formula. Now this is the empirical formula. Now to find the molecular formula, we will take the molar mass of the molecular formula, which is given as 98.96. We will divide this by the molar mass of the empirical formula. So the molar mass of the empirical formula will be the molar mass of the carbon, which is 12 added by the molar mass of 2 of hydrogen added by the molar mass of the chlorine now when we add these all of these we will get the molar mass as 49.466 gram per mole so this here we will put it over here so we'll have here 98.96 divided by now calculate this you will get approximately two we have this number two what do we have to do with this two we will multiply this two with the formula we'll take ch2 cl and then we will multiply this by two so when you multiply this by two you will have c2 h4 cl2 and this here will be your molecular formula 